rings of Uranus in new photos from the Webb telescope. Uranium is surrounded by a system of rings, but they are not easy to eat spot. They were first shown by the Voyager 2 probe during its flyby planets in 1986. Now new photos of Uranus have been taken by the James Space Telescope Webb. The images show rings as well as bright structures in the atmosphere planets. Uranus is the seventh planet in the solar system. He's a gas man a giant, although sometimes scientists call Uranus and Neptune ice cream giants. This is because the atmosphere of these planets consists primarily of all hydrogen and helium, contains more frozen volatiles than larger gas giants. Uranus has a ring system, numerous moons and is the coldest planet in the solar system. The minimum temperature there is minus 224 degrees Celsius. Apart from the coldest atmosphere, Uranus also distinguishes in the axis of rotation, which is strongly inclined and is almost in a plane planet orbits. Therefore, its poles lie where most planets are in the solar system as an equator. This causes confusion with the seasons in compared to other planets because the planet's poles experience many years constant sunlight followed by the same number of years complete darkness. Uranus takes 84 years to orbit the sun. And what could have led to Uranus tilting to the side? Scientists believe that in the ancient past, Uranus was hit by an object about twice the size of Earth. When it comes to rings, it's the most glamorous and Saturn has a solar system, but so do other planets like Jupiter and Neptune they have. Uranus also has them. There are 13 known rings of Uranus, but they are in a large one it is a mystery to scientists. Not much is known about them, because they are only visible using the most powerful telescopes. Therefore, they were only discovered in 1977, the rings of Jupiter were discovered in 1979 and Neptune in 1984. In recent observations, astronomers directed infrared sight James Webb Space Telescope JWST, just on Uranus, showing the seventh planet from the Sun in a completely new light. When Voyager 2 photographed Uranus, photos in the range visible lights showed almost smooth, devoid of characteristic features blue-green ball. In the infrared wave range and at greater sensitivity, to what the Webb telescope has, we see more details showing how the atmosphere of Uranus is really dynamic. Uranus's unique axis of rotation means that its north pole that is perfectly visible to an observer from Earth. The photo shows a bright, large area on the right side of the planet are clouds over the planet's north pole. Currently the south pole is out of our sight, on the other side planets. Now it is late spring at the north pole of Uranus. Summer expected it's in 2028. The clouds resembling a polar cap in the photo are unique for Uranus. They appear to appear when the pole enters the direct contact with sunlight in summer and disappear in autumn. Data collected through web, they can help scientists understand the now mysterious standing mechanism behind this feature. Bright clouds can also be seen in other parts of the planet. They are probably related to storm activity. The 13 rings of Uranus are known. In Webb's new paintings you can see 11 of them. Some of the photos are so bright that they seem to combine in bigger rings. The 9 rings are classified as major the planet's rings, and 2 are weaker dust rings. 2 invisible in the photos, the innermost the rings are, according to NASA's specialists, very weak. These rings they were discovered in images from the Hubble Space Telescope in 2007, when the planet tilted in such a way relative to Earth that all its the rings were visible. It will be a few more decades before astronomers they will get another view like this. The view of 
all the rings of Uranus happens every about 42 years. Webb's new image also shows some of the 27 known ones moons of Uranus. Although most are too small to be seen, the six brightest are perfectly visible. More observations of the planet are soon planned JWST.